So 15 weeks to make the model, first time filming on the green screen, and the wing falls off. Oof, brass monkeys. So let's step back to episode 12 where I featured these still photographs with a bit of motion. Well today I bring the flying robot fully to life with, wait what am I doing? Well these are magnets glued to the rods that will check out this drawing hold the flying robot for today's episode in green screening. Time to enter the shed, it's hammer time. And is that the biggest shed Australian law allows without a council permit? And you would be right. I know you're thinking, that shed needs a time-lapse cleaning montage. Clean now. So as I paint the magnet rods, let me give a shout out to one of my favourite YouTube channels, In Camera, where these guys have post-production studio in England and demonstrate practical effects using old school filmmaking techniques, including one where they film Lancaster bombers on a green screen combined with a clever lit still photograph with smoke and cotton wool for clouds looks amazing links in the description check it out all right let's bring out the flying robot and i will paint the wing rods green screen green now as i go to wash my paintbrush i know what you are thinking why is there a gate in front of the shed door Introducing Basil, the world's most inquisitive dog. Not allowed in the shed. He knows. Why did I make the base of the flying robot a sled when there's no snow in this world? This has bothered me. So I used this Tiger Tank kit set to change it. And not like me, I had no concept drawing, just steampunky ideas to take some kit set pieces and glue them together to create a kind of machine oriented landing gear. Big, big day. It's time to take my lights and all my kit into the shed. Lots of stuff. But, Basil, you stay out. Right, so in the shed I set up the lights and the rig. Don't want the model to fall on the floor, so we'll use this pillow. Then I used clamps to hold the magnet rods in place on these blue chairs. So, ready to film. Can flap the wings using the wings rod. So I gently flap the wings and then I will freeze frame and pull a key. Step one is to create a mask like so. Then I can just key out all the green. And a second still, the issue here is the framing cuts the edge of the wings. So I could not resize this shot to be smaller. So with a little practice, I find it easy to flap the wings of the model for fluid movement. Just a note, I keyed the, those stills using my editing software, which is okay, but for complex keying, I use dedicated compositing software. I can also hold the wings still, as if it is soaring, and it rotates on the magnets around the horizontal x-axis. This is actually good fun. Uh, then, when I change camera angles and freeze frame, you can see the magnet rod obscures the wing quite badly. But all that flapping had weakened the cardboard hinge, and you can see it starting to deform right before it gets entirely ripped off. Dear, oh dear. So, I'm cleaning up the shed. This is an exact transcription of my thought process. I want to smash that model, burn that model, shut down the channel. I wonder if I could fix it. Perhaps I can build a better model. It did look rubbish in close-up. 
A new model would take lots of time to make. Perhaps I can fix the model and, and build a better model later. I wonder what it looks like keyed out. Perhaps I should look at the footage first to see how it looks and then see if I can fix the model. The magnets did not really work. I need a new rig, whatever. Decision made, I will not smash or burn the model. And for now. Wait a second, was Basil in the shed again? Huh. Let's look at the keyed footage. Okay, so this is the first test footage that I've keyed in my compositing software. I'm not going to show you the button pushing on my YouTube channel. Other channels do that much better. Uh, I think it's all a bit rough there. There are a few things to fix up, but there's enough here to encourage me to keep going. In next week's video, I will attempt to repair the robot. And the one after that, I will finish making the tunnel. Side view set. Remember to tune in for both those. Thanks for watching. Click like and subscribe. Over there you can start the playlist from the beginning. It is going to get longer and longer. Over there that one had the YouTube algorithm has chosen. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.